Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. And I am back again to um, do another video, which I think is very important for a lot of us to realize in terms of how this media is being shaped up um, around this election cycle. Okay. Um, I, Donald Trump talks a lot about fake news, fake news, fake news. Okay. You know, while some of that news may be fake, um, majority of news and the sources that we get our news from, if they're vetted, then, you know, you still got to take it with a grain of salt. And the reason why I say that is because it's important that we understand that who owns all of the TV stations, first of all. Um, you know, there's uh, six corporations control 90% of all the media in America. And let me say that again. Six corporations oh, control 90% of the media in America. And this infographic created by Jason at Frugal's Dad shows that almost all of media comes from the same six sources. Okay? That's six, not sick. <laughs> That's consolidated from about 50 companies back in 1983. Note, this infographic is from last year and is missing some key transactions okay well, well the bottom line is you guys I want you to focus on six corporate owning the media so this infographic created by Jason at frugal dad it shows that almost all of media comes from the same six sources that's consolidated from 50 companies back in 1983. Um, so, with that being said, the fact that a few companies own everything demonstrates the illusion of choice, Frugal Dad says. While some big sites like Dig and Reddit aren't owned by any other corporations, Time Warner owns new sites read by millions of Americans every year. In other words, not only do they own the television media, they own the print media as well. And so the ability to control your thoughts is just tenfold. Because they got you going and they got you coming. They have you with the visual um, and they have you with the print. Okay, so what that looks like is horrible. It looks like this. The illusion of a choice. Because really it's media collusion and media consolidation. Media has never been more consolidated. Six media giants now control a staggering 90% of what we read, what we watch, and what we listen to. So when you have grass organic groups coming out from the woodwork and saying that we are beginning to take responsibility and take um, our voting rights serious by either withholding the vote or getting behind a candidate that go that's going to look out for our best interests. We notice that a lot of the news is beginning to say the same thing. And whether you're seeing it in print or whether you're seeing it on the television, it's because really it's just these six companies that own them all. So you tell one and it's gone all over the place. Okay. Um, number one, if you really understand that, and then you say, well, well, who in the hell is the uh, six corporations then? Well, most notable comparisons, you got General Electric. They got Comcast, NBC, Universal Pictures, and Focus Features. 
Then you got News Corp of America. Um, they own Fox, The Wall Street Journal, and The New York Post. Then you have Disney, and their notable properties are ABC, ESPN, Pixar, Miramax, and Marvel Studios. Then you have Viacom, and their notable uh, properties is MTV, Nick Jr., BET, CMT, and Paramount Pictures. You see how far this rabbit hole goes? So, okay. Then you have um, Time Warner Cable. I mean, Time Warner. Time Warner, notable property is CNN, HBO, Time, and Warner Brothers. And last but not least, you have CBS, who owns Showtime, Smithsonian Channel, NFL, Jeopardy, and 60 Minutes. Wow. 232 media executives control the information diet of 277 million Americans. That's one media exec executive to every 850,000 subscribers. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear that, family? 232 media executives control the informational diet of 277 million Americans. So that's about one media executive to 850,000 subscribers. Um, total 2010 revenue for the big six was 275.9 billion. That's 36 billion more than Finland's uh, government. That's enough to buy every NFL t 12 times. I'm talking about that money, $275 billion. Trying to give you a frame of what it looks like. And five times the government bail out of General Motors. The Big Six, the big six controls 70% of your cable. Comcast, NBC merger guarantees... Um, it, it, it guarantees control of about one of every five hours of television. Monopoly of 11 U.S. markets like New York City and Chicago. News. 178 million unique users read Time Warner's news every month. That's two times that of Dig, Tumblr, and Reddit combined, and also almost three times that of Google News. Hmm. Wall Street Journal, The Sun, and The Australian are news corporation owns, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, news corporation owns the top newspaper on three continents. What are those? And it's enough to double FEMA's budget. They can't even give me the number. Or fund the NPR for 40 years. In 1995, the FCC forbade companies to own over 40 stations. Yet, Clear Channel owns 1,200 stations. Everywhere else in the United States, 80% of the station's playlist matched Mrs. Robinson has aired six million times. That's 32 years of back-to-back -back play nonstop. Listening to Mrs. Robinson for the first time and still learning to Mrs. Robinson 32 years later. Hmm. They've been kicking it a long time. 